Hello, hello everyone. Welcome. I have a flip through to share with you. Um, the next couple flip throughs you'll see pop up for me are going to be from Coloring Heaven. So I buy these at my local Walmart. Um, I recently found out that they used to keep them in the back with all the other coloring books. And I was wondering why I couldn't find any or why there hadn't been any in a while. And I realized they moved mine up front with the magazines um, in the little drink corner with the snacks and things. So for those of you that may be struggling to find yours at your Walmart, I suggest checking with the books and the coloring books and the magazines. Ours are backed by electronics, um, but there's also a Crayola aisle that has some coloring books in it that they sometimes get put in, and then up front with the magazines. Um, so there's that little helpful tip for you. Um, so this is the Peter Pan special, 40 new and exclusive designs by Stanera. I still haven't really looked into her, but I will tell you, I think I have bought about every Coloring Heaven she has come out with, so I do adore her artwork. I am familiar with her work. I just haven't looked up, like, any actual books or anything. I keep meaning to. Um, so again, let's make sure we're centered here. So we are Peter Pan. They will have the name of the image on the back, so that one is Wendy, and of these ones have cute little quotes. So she took these from Peter and Wendy by J.M. Barry. Um, so I'm not going to tell you that on everyone. Just keep that in mind. If she happens to change, I will let you know. But I do believe that is the source she uses for her quotes throughout the whole book. So we have Wendy and John Darling. And again, just real simple. They're not overdone. They're not super complicated. Um, cutesy images. So now we are on to Michael Darling. Again, very cute little night scene outside. Nana the nursemaid dog. I am excited to see that Nana made it into it. I was hoping for a little bit different of a scene. I was hoping she was going to be like in the bedroom with the kids or something like that. But this cute little flower uh, scene is pretty cute too. Good old Peter Pan himself. And I do find the little blurbs helpful. I have not watched like the original Peter Pan in a long time. So um, I do like Peter Pan. I just, the older ones I haven't really got into. I think I've watched Hook. Tinkerbell. And they do make a few appearances, which is also nice. The images are a little bit cut off, so you don't have to go right to the edge. Non-perforated is a little bit thinner paper if you've never purchased one as you can see you can see the image on the other side so um, not the greatest for wet materials unless you're doing it very lightly so here's Wendy's solo flight so again with this beautiful bedroom window looking outward scene I think on this one I'm going to try my first yellow kind of glow moon I seen someone do a really pretty yellow one instead of like the usual gray indents on the moon and it caught my eye so I haven't colored in so long. I have so many plans and so many pages I want to do, and I don't know where to start. <laughs> so there's Peter and Wendy on Big Ben, so a close-up of that big clock tower. I was going to do this stained glass, but I don't know that I've ever been that close to Big Ben to know, so I'll have to peek at what this part looks like. But either way, that might still be a really pretty stained glass piece. Flight of the Neverland Trio. There's the Jealous Tinkerbell. So I do believe it's going in a little bit of order of the story. So now he's flying around with Wendy and now Tinkerbell's getting a little bit jealous. Tinkerbell's Midnight Waltz. This is a cute one. I don't really know what I would do with these, but I like that scene. Okay. Toodles. And this is where the little quotes come in handy, because off the top of my head, I don't remember a Toodles, but not the least brave, but the most unfortunate of all that gallant band. He had been in fewer adventures than any of them because the big things constantly happened when he had stopped around the corner. There's the twins. So these must be the kids from Neverland. Oops, sorry for the bump. 
I will get back to my original setup. I was just behind on so many uh, flips that it was easier to do them in here than wait for a quiet day. I'm still trying to get the color along up for October. I have not forgot. <laughs> Curly. I do like this bear. This would be a fun one to do for... Definitely have to add lots of your own fur texture in there. Nibs. And I do like these cute little, uh, like how they're on pictures. Make it look like a picture. You can make it old fashioned, black and white, sepia color, whatever you wish. Slightly. The Mermaid Lagoon. Marooner's Rock. I don't remember a mermaid right off either, but I am telling you, it has been a hot minute since I have went down the Peter Pan venture. <laughs> Merman. Talk about how they come out at night, so it could be like a cool all blue piece if you were doing um, monochrome. There's Wendy underwater with some cute little fish. Tiger Lily. Great big little panther, a brave of so many scalps that in his present position they somewhat impede his progress. And I will have to look up their colors, but I am excited to tackle them. And there's the tribe. The brushwood closes behind them. Lonely call of the coyote. Oh, so they heard a coyote, so they all looking around. So remembering Peter Pan, lots of these pages are going to be sort of night scenes, unless you want to spice it up. But their adventure does take place at night. So here is Peter's tribal rendezvous. Another one of Tiger Lily. I personally will probably to try to keep her out outfit looking similar on the pages. If I ever were to complete this book, it would make a like a cute little short story, and she would match throughout to each their own. That was a John. Doesn't tell you what kind of tree he's in. But. Good old Captain Hook. Can't forget Captain Hook. And they did do a great job. He has that really mean, stern, piratey face with that long hair and mustache. Hook front and center here. I wish they'd scooted him down a dot. I would rather have had less of this and more of like the feathers, but. Still a great page. I don't know what all these swish lines through here are. So there's Smee. I always want to call him Smitty because when my kids were little, Jake and the Neverland Pirates came out and Hook and Smitty. <laughs> and that is another one I have my eye on tackling too. I'd really like to do this in uh, ink tints or distressed ink maybe and give it a real treasure map feel. And there's some gold coins, gold goblins. There is our pirate crew. A more villainous looking lot never hung in a row on execution dock. Them are the guys that help you walk down the plank. The Jolly Roger. Of course, that's the boat. Queen of the Jolly Rancher. Yo ho, yo ho, the frisky plank. You walk so long it so. Till it goes down and you goes down to Davy Jones below. And again, I wish they would have just made it a little smaller, gave us the tips of the hat. It doesn't ruin the image at all. I just, I think cut off images irk me a dot. <laughs> I've noticed it throughout. There is Captain Hook sneaking through the woods. 
Tinkerbell when she gets caught. Peter Pan's mission to save Wendy. This would be a fun one to color too. Very lifelike scene. Very well done. And she does great. She has great portraits and scenes. You know, their hair looks great. Their hands don't look weird. She's got the detail in the clothes to help us give it some color. She's got, you know, just the perfect sword wielding hook. She now has got a sword in one hand and a hook on the other. The Lurking Crocodile, Tick Tock Croc. That would be a fun one to do. Make him kind of dark green and really get those bright glowing yellow eyes. And that might be, maybe that one will be the one with the yellow moon. That way it'll bring the yellow in his eyes. So there are the Crocs checking out Michael. Talking about the clock. There's Captain Peter Pan looking pretty proud of himself with Tinkerbell. Wendy Darling and her book. And again, I just wish the little head wasn't quite so chopped off. I mean, I could have did with less of this just to have the little top of her noggin. But Personal preference. Glimmering Trails. And last but not least, we have Longing for Peter. So this is a year later when Peter did not come back. Oh, look how sad her little eyes. And she really did put the detail of like tears welling up in her eyes. So that's a nice touch. Of course, the back has the color combination chart, the code if you would like to scan, Facebook community if you'd like to share, all the good things. So that is the Peter Pan special by Coloring Heaven. This is 40 new and exclusive designs by Stanera. Questions, comments, anything like that, please let me know. I sh am hoping to tackle one of these, but I keep saying that and I feel like I'm jinxing myself. So <laughs> I hope to see you next video. I thank you for watching.